Okay, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim out there that's pushing this world in truth and sincerity. This is going to be a real quick lesson, man. Hey, the other day, this lady with her four kids and her stepson got devoured by, by flames of fire. Hey, the, the woman fell asleep. And this happened on 142nd and 7th Avenue in Harlem. It was all over the news. I'm quite sure you I can have heard of this, man. Well, anyway, this woman fell asleep and left a pot, some food cooking. And what happened was she didn't have no smoke alarm in the house to trigger off an alarm to warn her of, of a fire or any kind of danger. So she was soundly asleep. Hey, most of these Negroes, they had to smoke a lot of weed and drink, so she probably was weeded out, was sedated from weed or pills, or she was drinking, and she didn't smell the, smell the smoke. Neither did her stepson, neither did her children, and all of them perished in the flames, man. Three kids, or four kids, a stepson, and the moms. Two adults and three and four children perishing flames, man. But you can't look at it on a carnal level, man. Those was kids, man, four kids. You know, that was tragic. Hey, man, that was judgment, man. The most I brought forth judgment on every last one of them people that was in that house, man. Why? Because them souls, even though they was little kids, they were not innocent, man. Joe 4 and 7, Joe 4 and 7, let me get that real quick. Joe 4 and 17 or Joe 4 and 7, whoever perished being innocent. Let me get that real quick. This is Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So them four souls, them little kids, them four little kids, the mother and the stepson, the, see, the mother and the stepson was grown. But the four little kids, they was young. Six, seven, eight, three. So they were so-called innocent. But in all actuality, they wasn't innocent. Why? Because they lived before, man. See, they lived in their previous life. They committed their wickedness, whatever they did. They died. Then they went to the spirit world and they received their judgment. Then they came back on this earth to live out their judgment. And the Most High deemed them but they was going to die in the flames, in the flames of fire. Job 4 verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or oh, where were the righteous cut off, man? So now near one of them souls that perished in them flames was righteous, man. Because the most is not going to cut off a righteous soul. The most high will deliver a righteous soul. Unless it's his lot to die for righteousness sake. Die for preaching his word of the most high. But that's not the case, man. In this situation. Them people perish in the flames of the fire because that was their judgment because they was living out their judgment, man. And every last one of them people that burnt and that perished in them flames was judged by the Most High, man. You understand me? Are you comprehending me? So that bitch, that old nigga bitch, ugly ass bitch, her stepson, and her four children that perished in them flames. And here it is, her oldest daughter that was 27 was smiling on TV, man. Show you the demons on these fucking women, man. Bitch had demons on her. Your whole family perished in flames of fire and you smiling. Chuckling. Show you the demons on these fucking women, man. 
Unbelievable, man. Incredible. So, I'm going to go back to Psalms chapter um, 68, verse um, 20. It says, He that is our power is the power of salvation and unto our Lord, Yahweh, belongeth the issues from death. The Most High put them, put them four children, their mother, and their steps on death for their iniquity, for the sins they committed in this life or their previous life, man. You, not, you are not going to escape the judgments of the Most High, man. So that was judgment, man. Do I feel sorry for them four kids that perished in the flames of fire? No. Why should I? Do I feel sorry for that ugly-ass nigger woman that bared them nigglets? No. Why should I? They received their judgment. For whatever kind of wickedness they committed in their previous life, man. That was the judgment of the Most High, man. I'm going to read it again. Psalm chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto the, and unto the Yahweh, and unto the power, the Lord Yahweh belongs the issues from death. So why should I feel sorry for them? They received their judgment. But guess what? Now they're in their right state of mind. And when they come back through reincarnation, man, they're going to be right in the spirit, man. Because they're Israelites. Pay adventure that, I mean, if that bitch didn't get with some kind of Edomite. But the spirit is telling me they always jake, man. You understand me? You comprehending me? But nevertheless, the Most High did that to them, man. I got another precept real quick. This is um, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. Hey, the Most High kill? He kill you? Or he can make alive, man. It said, we read it again. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bring down to the grave and bringeth up. Now the grave is a situation whereas you in hell, man. You understand me? The most high killeth and maketh alive. The most high killed them four children, their mother and their stepson. Just like that Jake that burned his daughter alive in that car, in that aqua, he changed the door shut. That three-year-old little girl, guess what? The Most High deigned her death. That was judgment. You see, you got to look at it on a spiritual level. You see, if you look at it on a carnal level, man, you're going to get all emotional and start cursing homeboy out, man. That The Most High put the spirit of vengeance on that dude, man, to do what he did. When that dude took that propane tank and that canister and chained them doors shut and kept his three-year-old daughter chained, I mean, you know, um, secured in that um, car seat and lit that car on fire, even though he caught on flames too, but guess what? He didn't perish in the flames. She did. That three-year-old girl. Why? That was her judgment. You see what I'm saying? If you didn't on a spiritual level, you'll be able to see it, man. But if you're on a carnal level, you're going to think carnally, and you're going to be all emotional and all caught up in some fucking emotional bullshit. Not knowing that the Most High ordained her death, man. That was her judgment. You understand me. Are you copying with the, copying with the hell I'm saying to you? First Samuel chapter 2 verse um, 6. Let it sink in. It says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bring down to the grave and bringeth up. Verse 7. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. Hey, so you see these, these jakes out there. 
all destitute and poor and fucked up, you know, eating out of a, you know, I mean, picking, living on the streets, eating out of garbages, man, the most I did that to him, man, the most I made him that way, man, put him in that situation, that's his judgment, man, since you gotta know these things, man, when you see these cats out there bugged out on the streets, man, when you see a cat get shot down on the streets, man, he walking, he's a he so-called innocent bystander. Nah, he wasn't innocent. Job 4 and 7. Remember, I prayed he over purpose being innocent. That motherfucker got his judgment, man. Hey, the other day I read in the paper some fucking nigga woman, I was 19, she got shot in the head. And she got shot in the fucking head in the chest. And she survived. And she's paralyzed on her right side, man. The Most High did that to her, man. For whatever kind of wickedness she did in her previous life, man. The Most High fucked her up, man. You understand me, man. That's why it behooves you to fear the Lord. You have a white, you have a shot, man. Because the Most High will fuck you up, man. The Most High will do you real vicious like. You understand me, man. No one escapes the judgments of Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. Hey, man, I was last night I was sleeping, man. And I kept on saying in my sleep, judgment is coming, man. Judgment is coming, man. You understand me, man. Judgment could come in various forms and fashions, man. And the Most High is not playing, man. The Most High is about to open up on you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And he's going to allow, he's going to put that spirit on Esau to show forth his horns, man. To show that he's the devil. Jacob's trouble. Martial law. Famine. You see what Esau is doing? He unleashing these pestilence, man. Which the Most High is putting the spirit on Esau to do so, man. That's also judgment. If you get caught up in that measles outbreak, that's your judgment. If you get caught up in the Black Death, which is new bonic or bubonic plague, that's your judgment. If you get caught up in catching cancer, AIDS, that's your judgment. You understand me? The most sides is not playing, man. But you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're going to learn the fear of the Most High, man, real soon. I guarantee you. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans is going to learn the judgments of Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. Because Esau, the so-called white man, is about to show his true nature, which he's the devil. He's going to show his horns. The Lord is going to allow Esau to grow his horns and show forth who the fuck he really is, man. Which is the devil. So who you going to trust in? Esau or the Lord Yahweh? My power is the Lord Yahweh while Yahweh shah. The two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, your power and your God is Esau, the so-called white man. And you're going to fall by the sword with your God, Esau, the so-called white man. Because judgment is coming. And the issues of death belong to Yahweh while Yahweh shall. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.